Hello everyone, it is April 3rd, 2024, Wednesday, Nick, just want to share with you something that happened tonight, as I'm about to get ready to go to the bathroom, at 9.15pm, I just throw my pants on the bed, just throw my pants on the bed, you know? And I look at them, and it literally makes an X. And it made me think of the solar eclipse that we had in 2017, my brothers and sisters in Christ. As well as the one that we're going to have um, on April 8th of 2024, about seven years later, since the last on August 21st really 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 made me think could that be a word from the Lord as you know this April 8th total solar eclipse passes through um, North America Mexico and Canada and literally forms an X on the United States map And if that's not enough, I added up the numbers in the time of 9.15 and, you know, the 9 and the 15, 9 plus 15 equals 24. And that's the very same time that I put my pants on my bed to get ready to go use the bathroom. And it made me think of the year 2024. Could this be the start of something very, very big, massive coming? Could it be? We gotta really, really, really seek the face of the Lord Jesus Christ like never before. Because these are definitely the end times and we're in the last hour. I truly believe it wholeheartedly. About an hour later at 10.07 p.m. today, I went for a random Bible verse on my phone because I know that this is one way that the Lord Jesus Christ speaks to me. And it was Psalm chapter 16, verse 8. About dependence and equipment. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be shaken. So I just want to give you, my brothers and sisters in Christ out there, a word of encouragement from the Lord, no matter what happens. If it's the rapture, this year in 2024 or if it's the start of the great tribulation whatever happens no matter what happens us true children in Christ Jesus bought by the bought by his blood our cavalry on the cross we're gonna be okay no matter what happens we will be okay just keep your eyes fixated on him and keep on loving your neighbor as yourself and him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And he'll do the rest. God bless you. And thanks for watching.